for the 2023 Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team, the Red Animals. Red one pulling the team up at 4 to 5G and over 400 miles per hour as they collapse from the wall formation which is approximately 200 feet from wingtip to wingtip into eight arrow formation. Red one will bring the formation round to the left. Red one is squad leader Tom Bold. Tom is in his third and final year as Red one. He is a former team member from 2014 through to 17, where he was the synchro leader in 2017. He is a former Typhoon pilot, a former qualified flying instructor on the Hawk T Mark II. And he was also an instructor on the Takano, where he was the Takano display pilot in 2000. Keep your cameras trained on the formation for a dynamic shape change as seven and eight perform a rollback to change the shape from eight arrow into Vixen. As the team come around to the right, you'll see the team formed in a formation known as Short Diamond. Of course, we would normally have nine aircraft, and you'll have seen earlier this year the video from Officer Commanding Rafa explaining that we are not a nine this year down to safety, as we can only train three new pilots each year, and the maths just, just simply didn't work out for this year. However, our aim is to be at our famous trademark Diamond Nine for next year, as Red One brings the team around to the right for the Vixen roll. <laughs> As the team rolls to the left on the right hand side of Red 1 is Red 2, Flight Lieutenant Rich Walker. Rich is in his first year on the team, is a very experienced aviator. He has flown on operations on both the Harrier and the Typhoon. He is the second of our space themed shapes. Of course, Reds 4 and 5 are now all the way back at the formation which makes their formation keeping even more difficult. As all the formation references are taken off Red 1, and it's even harder for them being that far back in the formation to see Red 1. As Red 1 brings the formation around the left for the Eagle present. So, so far we have seen the Apollo space mission formation and now the Eagle landing craft formation. This is in a nod to the importance of space as the Royal Air Force acknowledges that space plays a vital role in all future military operations. With Space Command formed in 2021 and it reaching its initial operating capability in 2022. Once again the rest smoke comes on from Reds 4 and 5. They move up to sit along beside Reds 2 and 3, sat behind Red 6 with Red 7 and 8 in trail. In May of this year, we celebrated the 80th anniversary of the famous mission to take out the dams in the Ruhr Valley in Germany by that famous 617, the Dam Busters, who obviously fly today in, in today's Royal Air Force with the ultra-modern fifth generation F-35. This is the lightning roll. On the far right hand side is Red 4, Flight Lieutenant Ollie Suckling. First year on the team, a former Tornado DR4 pilot and a former Hawk T2 qualified flying instructor. And those familiar to the air show scene will know Ollie in his former role as a flyer with the North Wales based Strike Master pair. And Ollie would like to say hello to his family who are watching today, especially his dad. eye. That means they're putting the input in based on the commands of Red One. He needs to make those commands predictable, clear and concise over the radio. It also means that the guys on the outside of the formation who have to move through the bigger piece of sky, the bigger circles, have to put their input in just a little bit early to ensure that the wing of the formation moves as one rather than ripples down the formation. Maneuvers that the red arrows perform. 
as Red Arrow brings the formation around to the right. Get your cameras ready as the Red Arrows ride the storm in Tornado. The go call is made from red one and the abort call is made from red seven as seven and eight roll around the smoke of the rest of the formation. You'll notice that the formation are flying with their air brakes out. That is a small door at the base of the aircraft towards the rear. This means that the throttle is now at a higher setting. It's a hotter engine gas temperature and it also disturbs the airflow out the back of the aircraft. This makes, means that the smoke will burn a lot more brightly and will billow a lot more fuller, which enhances the manoeuvre such as Tornado. Seven, with red seven in trail on red six they roll away from each other the smoke comes on as they part and perform the crowd favorite the synchro heart today's heart is dedicated to philip stanton the father of adam and pamela who recently passed away and also i'd like to dedicate it to my own family who are here today has joined Enid sits just behind Red One as they perform a series of barrel rolls through the sky leaving a snake-like smoke trail through the sky in a manoeuvre called the Python. I talked earlier of our blues personnel, over 140 of them and they wear blue to the, due to the coveralls that they wear. Amongst those blues are 10 individuals who are specially selected to fly in the aircraft in between displays when they cannot take a full engineer individual who's with me at every display is Circus 10, Corporal Phil Dye. And he is out in front of the crowd filming the display for debriefing and safety purposes. At 800 miles per hour closing speed, they will pass once again within 100 feet of each other. Each aircraft performing an aileron roll change their smoke to white before they pull up at 5 to 6G. Reach a height of approximately 2,500 to 3,000 feet, inverted 60 degrees nose down as they complete a manoeuvre called the Boomerang. To your extreme left. Once again, Red One pulling up at 400 miles per hour, 4G. This year, of course, we celebrated the coronation of King Charles III as Red One brings the formation around to the right. Get your cameras ready for the Enid coronation vertical break. As Enid call, red seven and eight, the red and blue go on as they roll around the smoke of red six. Smoking blue is red seven, flight lieutenant Stu Roberts. Second year of the team. in a better place than when we joined. 
Looking to your right hand side, you have Enid running back in, smoking white. As this red smoke comes on and reds two and three roll around the rest of the formation. Clear and go is the call as reds four and five roll around as Enid perform the rollbacks, which is one of the hardest maneuvers for our new pilots each year to pass down. Seven and eight smoke blue as they roll around the red smoke of red sex in vortex. Get your cameras ready for Hannah's last break of the show, the Hannah break. symbol in the sky for the infinity break. Royal Air Force Cofford, it's been an absolute pleasure. Please put your hands together for the 2023 Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team, the Red Arrows! <laughs> Back to land at Royal Air Force Shawbury, just up the road, which is where we are operating from.